Hi, welcome to this small video tutorial about OBS Studio. I've made already an article on Arco Linux about uh, OBS Studio, but um, I just made a uh, YouTube um, stream and I forgot to set a setting. So I'm going over the most important settings for you to be able to uh, stream on YouTube or anywhere else. So we go here we have a button settings which is actually the quickest way to go to your settings I did everything right but I forgot one setting and I streamed everything up to a resolution of I think 480 or something so everything is set correctly here and um, automatically record when streaming is a good option so when you say start streaming streaming not screaming then you start recording at the same time so that's a good idea then um, I went uh, didn't change anything in the normal settings I believe but it was here no not here you can set up streaming services you can stream to any of these I only stream to YouTube might do something else in the future but for this time I'm streaming to YouTube you have this primary YouTube ingest server and this stream key is on your YouTube channel so you have to check out what your key is you have to put it in there it's a unique key so I cannot show you but it's there so the mistake I made was here in uh, output it's okay video bitrate and software x264 didn't change anything here but um, no it's even it's even in video later so it didn't change anything here same as stream recording it's going to be output in my my home directory so we can change that if you want to and it's recorded in FLV it might be interesting to show you that I was talking control alt uh, control alt and then sorry so this one I was talking for about an hour or so and this is what it costs in FLV 1.2 gigabytes so I'm uploading now the this version uh, which is going to be indeed a full HD version and in the meantime I'm testing out my new headset here with this microphone so um, that being said I mean it does cost us some space uh, I haven't changed it so it was standard FLV you can change to MP4 which is what YouTube likes and X264 is also a correct setting so probably I'm gonna change it and test it out next time in okay as a result of BSODs we don't know that in Linux if you want to record using MKV so an explanation we have to check into so changing it right back so we don't see this message now the issue at hand was not audio audio is good but this here I did not notice that it did not take um, well my screen resolution it did not do that automatically out of the box it was maybe this one or it was was it maybe this one I don't know but I should have checked this because this is my output output scaled resolution so we scaled my canvas size to something very small which is of course what I didn't want to have so this is a setting actually that got me into trouble so I want to share this knowledge with you so you don't get in trouble and that's all I changed never added uh, hotkeys or anything advanced like that so we end up apply this and when we do our next stream that will work now I could also go into detail about this here so scene is just what you want to record or maybe you would like to record uh, scene 2 and then in scene 2 you tell him what to show maybe an image why not show him the sound in our case Arco Linux we take pulse audio and we can add uh, well we don't add, have to add anything it's just okay and a default uh, maybe you saw an earlier video about this hypertext virtual surround analog studio headset that I just bought and I'm testing out right now I'm speaking in it I'll show you then you have to set this here so hyper x virtual surround okay so that set my input sound is coming through my mic then we can set an image an intro image you know uh, to say hi guys 
nice picture eric pictures pictures and we take cinnamon as an example open okay so this is the standard cinnamon when you install it on arch linux so we start with this one and then we're going to talk and we put the eye out eye on you know visible visible not visible plus we want to record a screen a screen capture okay and you decide do you want in my case of course uh, screen one screen two i can only advise if you want to do obs studio things like that streaming to youtube to have two monitors so one to the right and one to the left so you can put your stuff that's recording everything uh, put it there so yes screen zero is okay capture cursor okay and then last but maybe not least i don't know if you want to have your hat on there and by hat i mean a uh, webcam 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 that's what i mean capture device let's have a look it's actually capturing right now so you can't capture twice but it will work you will see and those were the settings let's compare so image video screen audio input so you can say okay image to the top video capture comes uh, oh we forgot the video capture is it so it's a good thing that i checked so video capture this one is not needed minus yes it's video capture we want this one but voila we cannot we can only do it once so the webcam is already recording so can't do it twice but that's it so again image video capture okay one level down screen capture now we have everything double right so that's how it goes so you can say i'm going to show scene one and then scene two is something else or uh, the next screen or the third screen and the fourth screen you know you can uh, record and navigate between desktops like that so that's that the main thing was actually my mistake it was ma mainly this one don't forget to put here output scaled resolution you have to think about everything all right that was it cheers have fun with obs studio